Well, good morning. My name is Charlie Johnston. I'm wondering, are you ready for some Amarillo sex? Well, that's what we're going to show today is how to pollinate and cross-pollinate Amaryllis. So let's begin. Here's a wonderful Amaryllis. Its name is Chrisma. The parts of the flower that we see here are the stigma, which is pointed downward. It's not ready to receive pollen when it's in that state. The next part of the sex of an amaryllis is the anthers, which contain the pollen. These are called filaments that protrude from the center of the bloom. A little later, we'll take some of the pollen from an anther and place it onto a stigma that's ready to receive pollen. Here's an example of a beautiful amaryllis called Prelude. It's already been pollinated. Look how the stigma is pointed upward and has branched into three parts. And see, can you see the pollen on the end of the stigma? The pollen will travel down the length of the stigma to the rear of the bloom and will have the formation of seed in the ovary. Here's a good example of a swollen ovary into three chambers with seed developing. See how the flower has died? There's what's left of the stigma. So now we're going to take time to pollinate this beautiful pink amaryllis by simply breaking off a filament taking the anther that's loaded with pollen and placing it on the upward turned stigma that's branched into three parts. There it is, amaryllis sex at its best. <whistles> so, maybe I'll show you quickly what to do to cross pollinate. We can take the pollen from this beautiful pink and turn it over to the prelude and cross-pollinate that baby. Here we go. So we got a cross-pollinated bloom. We don't know what it will produce, but it will be a combination of these two beauties. Well, God bless you. Hope you learned a little something. It was fun. Bye-bye.